Let's review some of the basics of error control coding. If we consider a typical digital communication system, we would have a digital source. We pass that through a channel, which corrupts the transmitted signal with noise, and that's picked up by the receiver. So for example, if noise influences this portion of the binary signal, perhaps a 1 gets flipped to a 0. And this bit error is something that we'd like to be able to deal with. In particular, we'd like to know that it happened, so that would be our first goal of um, error control, is to say, does it even exist in the first place? Secondly, if possible, we'd like to be able to correct that error at the receiver without actually having to request the source transmit the message again. To do that, we have to add additional bits into the uh, bit stream, and we form code words which are then sent by the source. Let's consider a, an example of a rep repetition code called the 3-bit repetition code. So we take each one of our two possible source symbols, which would be 0 and a 1. The transmitted code words then are the message bit, and then the message bit replicated two more times. So we have a total of three bits for our transmitted code word. Excuse me, that ought to be a 1. So our message bit is a 1. We would then replicate that two more times. Now just to emphasize that, we say that there's one message bit and two check bits, as they're called. So those color-coded pink would be referred to as the check bits. So you'll notice that our code words are always bigger than the, than the sources, or the source message. So it always takes a little more uh, time to transmit the code words than the original message. Now we can gain a lot of insights by visualizing these code words in space. So for a 3-bit code, we think of each one of the bits as corresponding to its own dimension in space. So in this case, the, the middle bit is defining the direction to the, to the right. I'm using the leftmost bit to define the direction pointing out of the screen. And the last bit to point up. You can almost kind of think about those particular code words as being like unit vectors. So now this particular code word is formed by moving one step to the right and then one step up. So that, that point in space corresponds to the code word 011. If we move up over and then out of the page, that gives us the code word 111. Now that happens to be one of our valid code words for the 3-bit repetition code, so I'll color code that blue. So there we, the blue corresponds to our valid code words. All the other points on that cube are invalid code words. So let's imagine that we had a single bit error inserted into the transmitted code word 000. So a single bit error would carry us, say, up by one step. I'm just focus on a specific example here. So the question is, is this error detectable? Well, we would say, yes, it is, because the pattern does not match one of our valid code words. Okay, so the received values either have to be all zeros or all ones to be considered valid. So we see that single bit errors take us in any one of three possible directions away from zero, zero, zero. So the way we actually talk about this is what we call the Hamming distance between two points. The Hamming distance for the single bit errors is one. So we say move from the origin, move one step, that's a Hamming distance of one. Now, is this a correctable type of error? So let's consider this one again. 
we actually find that it is correctable because we see that 001 has the closest Hamming distance of 1 to the code word called 000, and this is important, all other valid code words are greater distance. So we see that 001 could be said to be closest to the, the nearest code word 000. So we say that the minimum Hamming distance between any pair of code words, which we call D sub min, for this particular 3-bit repetition code is 3. Now let's imagine that we had 2-bit errors in our transmitted code word. So again we say, is, is that situation actually detectable? Well let's take two steps here, so that would be a Hamming distance of 2, giving this erroneous result. So we say yes it is detectable because again 011 is not a valid code word. So in this case the Hamming distance was 2. Is that a correctable situation? Well we see that it's actually the specific value is actually closest to the code word 111 so without further information, we'd say, well, we received the value 011, the closest valid code word is 111, and that's an incorrect result. So we would say it's a two-bit error is not correctable. So we can generalize these results a bit. We say we can detect up to D min minus one errors. So a critical point here is we need to know the minimum Hamming distance of a code. We can correct up to essentially half of d min. It's actually d min minus 1 divided by 2. And to ensure that you're not trying to correct fractional bits, we do the floor operation, which says go to the, the next lower integer from that calculation. So d min for the 3 bit repetition code is 3. So that says we can only correct up to a single bit error. But we can actually detect up to two bit errors.